Hi, I'm Phil, and we're going to continue with exploring the Raspberry Pi Model 5 with the latest operating system. And I've been working on quite a few projects. Uh, we've already looked at um, Grove Python and Grove Node Red using Grove modules. Now we're going to look at um, the Sense Hat. We had limited success with the uh, Grove hat, and you had to use a more recent version, which used an I2C address at 8 instead of the illegal address that Seed Studio used on the original version. So what we're going to do here is um, look for uh, a better hat that can um, work with the uh, Raspberry Pi Model 5. And um, what we're going to do here is have a look at um, some of the... Um... So we're going to have a look at um, the Sense Hat. And the objective here is to create a learning environment for uh, Model 5 under Bookworm. And we want to have um, a choice of various... Uh, platforms and software from Python, C++, Scratch, and Node-RED. So for the hardware, we're going to use the Model 5, and we're going to use SenseHat. And we ha uh, have to be aware of on the I2C bus where our devices are attached. And uh, here they are. There's quite a number of devices on SenseHat, and these are the addresses. And they all um, uh, work with the proper standard for the I to C addressing. And we're going to use SenseHat. And for software, um, we'll um, look at um, both Python and Node Red. So they'll be the main ones. And project wise, um, I've gone through quite a number of them. There's a lot of documentation for SenseHat both at, at, on the official Raspberry Pi website. And I've got quite a few other um, projects. So I've been able to get the um, SenseHat work with the uh, other devices on the I2C bus, including an LCD display and a weather station. But the one I, I want to explore in more detail today is the... Uh, node red and i'm going to base this on two things one is this reference uh here innovate with uh, sense hat for the raspberry pi it's in a book form um over 130 pages or so and um it um is a very good source of project information so let's have a look at my desktop so um Right on the top here, we've got um, all the devices that I'm exploring. And uh, Node Red sits on top of the uh, M2C interface, which hosts a SSD drive. And that all fits on top of the Raspberry Pi Model 5. So here we have SenseHat. And I'm also going to um, explore a couple of other ways of um, interfacing. So besides the uh, standard GPIO bus, I'm going to use an extender that gives me access to the various GPI pins. And in particular, I want to add additional um, I2C devices on that bus, such as the um, Raspberry Pi, uh, such as the uh, LCD. And I'm also going to use the latest camera. Okay, so the objectives of this project, I want to demo various events from the SenseHat, such as um, IMU for acceleration, gyro and compass readings, uh, weather events or environmental events for temperature, humidity and pressure. And I want to compare the accuracy of those um, environmental measurements with the BME 680. And for hardware, 
I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi Model 5 Sense Hat. And um, I'm going to um, compare that with either the BME 280 or the BME 680. Both have um, node red nodes available. And I'm going to use an arrangement where I can just plug in Grove devices uh, using a uh, Grove I to C hub. And I'll need some uh, Grove cables for that uh, with um, DuPont female headers. And at the other end, we've got the Grove connections. So for software wise, uh, we'll just look at my latest project here. Um, and we'll go across in a minute and have a look at the um, construction of the flows on my node red. So um, we might explain those as we um, go through. So I've got this um, set up on a, um, I'm using VNC to my Windows computer. And these are the nodes that I'm uh, looking at at the moment. So um, I'm exploring putting uh, flashing various LEDs in the 8x8 array. And this is what these top flows do. They're very, very simple. But the ones that I want to um, focus on are the sense hat um, measurements coming from um, uh, this node. And the, what I've done, I've added um, sense hat to my list of nodes here. And if I wanted to get um, sense there it is under Raspberry Pi. We uh, just go down to Sense Hat, and there it is there. And to configure it, we just open that up. And if we want to output everything, we just um, enable all of these um, uh, fields. If we just wanted, say, joystick, uh, there we are. We just got the joystick measurements. Okay, so uh, we might get rid of that one. And the one I've got at the moment. I've only got the environmental uh, measurements and they're all going to extract a payload uh, that goes in in parallel to um, a dashboard display. So we're going to uh, put our temperature, which comes in on msg.payload.temperature, and we're just setting that to uh, msg.payload. And if we look at the um, dashboard for temperature, we're um, going to put that um, uh, across onto the Grove, uh, onto the Chrome browser. So we're going to have both a um, text and a gauge for temperature, humidity, and pressure. We might just get rid of that one because we're not using it at the moment. And we're going to do the same down here with the BME. So what we do, we just take all our BME measurements and it outputs um, temperature underscore C uh, and a similar uh, parameter for humidity and temperature. So let's go across. We'll uh, deploy all that. We'll get rid of it. And um, if we want to see it, we can see that we're getting measurements from our BME at the moment which is 18.1 for our temperature. And what we might do is move across to the Grove dashboard where we can see the compass measurement. And we've got the BME for both temperature, humidity, and pressure. And we're comparing that with the sense hat uh, environmental parameters for temperature, humidity, and pressure. And you'll notice there's quite a big difference. While we're getting 18.12 on the BME 680, uh, we're getting a much higher temperature, 23.59 on the uh, sense hat. That's quite a big um, discrimination there. And um, the humidity measurements are lower on sense hat. And the um, pressure reading is uh, slightly higher on sense hat. And um, we might go back to our mind map. And um, what we've, um, we've got, we'll, um, we've been able to do a couple of things. We've been able to get the measurements from both 
a uh, Grove 680 device and the Sensat um, sensors all onto a Chrome browser window. And we're able to also compare the measurements with the BME 680 with Sensat. And we've noticed quite a discrepancy. And that's despite the fact that I've raised the height of the uh, sense hat uh, using a, uh, an additional um, expansion header. Uh, so we got good results on that. And uh, these are my uh, references. So uh, stay tuned and I'll give you a desktop demonstration. Here I'm exploring various Raspberry Pi hats that work nicely with the uh, Raspberry Pi Model 5 uh, under the new operating system called Bookworm. Uh, we've already had a look at the um, Grove um, hat uh, and it has limited success. That is, you have to get this on the right I to see address because Bookworm is very fussy about following the uh, I to see rules. And uh, this particular one doesn't follow. But if you have one based on a co-processor or a microcontroller called the MM32, it has the correct address and you can get most of the functions working under Node-RED and the Python library. I'm going to have a look at some other hats to see if they work. And the one that I'm actually focusing on today is SenseHat. And this is uh, Model 1, but um, on the Raspberry Pi over here, we've got a Raspberry Pi Model 5 on the uh, lower unit. And um, it has a, a solid-state drive uh, using the um, M.2 interface. And uh, right on top, we've got the latest version, or version 2, of SenseHat. And it adds a light and color sensor, which is not available on the uh, version one model. What we've also got, we're um, using extenders. And there are two reasons for that. One is we've got a temperature sensor on the um, sense hat. And we want to keep that as far away from the heat of the... Uh, Raspberry Pi Model 5 as possible. So this extension bus is doing that. But in addition, we've got um, access now using uh, two port or two edge connectors. So one goes into the Raspberry Pi and the other two uh, make available not only uh, fitting the sense hat on, but they make access to all of the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. And what we're doing here is um, uh, selecting the I to C bus, and uh, we've got that on a Grove I to C hub, and uh, we can fit various attachments to that. And the one I've got here is the BME 680, which is going to measure temperature, humidity, pressure, and also uh, air quality. And um, we can also uh, put on a LCD unit, which goes on the I to C bus. Okay, so um, uh, that's it for the time being.